So, it's time for the kids to do something kid-like, don't you think? So if you've read uh, Winnie the Pooh, if you've read any of those stories, you can tell that we've got here a little brook and a bridge and a stick. So what do you think comes next? Pooh sticks! You know that story, right? Winnie the Pooh and his friends. What they do is they go up on a bridge and they drop a stick in the water and then run over to the other side and watch the stick come out. Now usually there was a lot of waiting, but this time this is a pretty fast little brook, so we're gonna have to be fast. Should we play poo sticks? Let's do it. All you have to do is two things. One is throw a stick in the water, but the other thing is you have to have a bridge. Because here's the important part. You let go of the stick so that it's gone and you never get it back because it's in a river, it's not in a pond. And you have to have a bridge so that the stick goes through something. That's kind of like what Jesus went through that we're celebrating today. Easter is sort of like poo sticks because Jesus let go of his life and he let the river of God take it away and Jesus went through a really dark, kind of scary place because he died. And then he came out the other side. Now, here's the trick. I don't know where that stick is gonna end up. Not where it started, not here. That's the thing about resurrection. Jesus didn't just come back to life. He went through onto a new place, to new life. So when we talk about dying and rising with Jesus, it doesn't just mean that we go down and then we come back up again. No, it means that we let go of the way things used to be, and then we wait, and then we're taken to a new place which might be kind of scary, but it's where God takes us, so we'll be okay. Right now, we're going through some kind of scary times because there's this disease all around and we don't know what's gonna happen. It feels kind of like going through that dark, scary place. But if we just trust God and give our lives to God, God will take us to a new place. So we will be like Jesus. We will die and rise with Jesus. It sounds scary, but it's actually okay. So I think we should say a prayer and thank God for this mystery of dying and rising. Let's pray, God, thank you that you always bring us to new life. I'm gonna hold hands with all the trees and the woods out here and you can hold hands with each other or whoever is around you and we'll pray, God, thank you for always bringing us to new life. God, thank you for always bringing us to new life. Amen. I'm going to go with the stick. 